In today's lesson, we're going to be going over how we can create a stepper in Xcode. And it's going to look like this one over here. As you can see, we have a minus and a plus button. And we can also define the limits. So we can't go anywhere below zero and we can't go anywhere above 200. And that is because I've defined this limit over here. And I'll also show you how we can customize it in different ways. For example, here I have the labels hidden modifier. But if we remove that, we're probably gonna have this label over here that is very common in option menus and so on. So that's what we're going to be making in this video. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is start a new project in Xcode and of course, pick the device of your choosing. The next thing we have to do is go ahead and create a state variable, which is going to be private var amount which can be any amount you want it to be set to initially. I'm just going to go ahead and click on 10. Then we can go ahead and remove this and add a V stack. And inside the V stack, we're going to get started with creating the stepper immediately. So here we can go ahead and type in stepper and we have to go ahead and type a label such as enter an amount. And just so the user can see what they're doing, I went ahead and inserted the amount immediately so it can reflect on the changes when the user clicks plus or when the user clicks minus. Then we can go ahead and provide the value which has to be the binding variable. And this will be the amount precisely. And we can also decide to include a range in case we want to. Otherwise it's going to work perfectly also without a range. And let's add a padding. So otherwise it's going to work perfectly without a range as you can see here. But if we insert a range, it will stop the user from going below zero or above a certain number. So to do this, we'll just go ahead and type in in zero to 20. So I can show you that it also can max out. So now if we go ahead and run this code and we click on the button, it's going to increment and decrement the number. If we go all the way up to 20, it's not going to let us go anywhere above that. And of course, if you don't want the label and you just want the stepper, you can go ahead and add the modifier of labels hidden. So labels hidden. And it will leave us with the counter itself. And since we're doing this, we now have to go ahead and specify a way of displaying the information. So in this case, we'll just type in total is backslash and the amount. So now we can see the updates in our own UI element. I'm just going to change the font to title2 and set it to dot bold. So now we have a custom counter that we can increment and decrement as much as we like. Now there's only one more thing to show you and that's how to add custom increments and decrement listeners. So for this, we're going to have to go ahead and remove the value parameter. So here we can actually remove this and we can also remove the limit. And instead of that, we're going to go ahead and add a on increment listener. And inside here, of course, you can insert whatever code you want. So here we can go ahead and type in amount plus equals 10. So now every time we run the code, we're going to increment it by 10. But of course, if we decide to give it an on increment counter, we also have to provide the on decrement. So the program knows exactly what it has to do in this situation. So here we can go ahead and copy that with the exception of adding a minus there instead. So now if we click on the plus, it's going to increment and decrement it by 10 each time we do it. And of course you can also add some custom code here in case you wanted to do more than just that. And that just about covers the basics of the stepper. So with that being said guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.